This video is about how to find the inverse function. As we know, not all the functions have an inverse function. Only one-to-one -one function has an inverse function. Inverse function is denoted as this one. Original function and inverse function are reflected across the y equals x. Any function and its inverse function satisfy these two equations. We will use the escape button to remember the steps for finding inverse function. E stands for exchange x, y. S stands for solve for y. C stands for change y into inverse function symbol. Now let's do some uh, practice. Find the inverse uh, function for given functions. Show the domain and a range of uh, inverse function. As we know, the domain and the range switch for original function and a uh, inverse function. So sometimes you have to figure out the domain or range of uh, original function to figure out the domain and the range of uh, inverse function. Use the uh, escape button to remember the steps of uh, finding inverse function. Therefore, the first step, exchange x, y. f, x, that means y. So we got x equals negative 3y squared plus 5. Then second step, remember that is a solve for y. You count the y is a variable. We could say this is a power pattern equation. So we isolate the variable on one side. We subtract the 5 both sides x minus 5 equals negative 3y squared. Then we divide by negative 3. You got the y squared equals... Uh, remember, negative sign cannot be denominator, so we change the sign for every term in this uh, fraction. We got negative x plus 5 over 3. Then we got to do square root of both sides. Don't forget this uh, plus or minus here. Since uh, this y basically is the domain for the original function, because we switch x, y. And for this y, they said greater than or equal to zero. That's the reason we only choose uh, positive here. Then we got negative x plus 5 over 3. Then last step, you change y into inverse symbol equals square root negative x plus 5 over 3. We need to figure out the domain and the range of a inverse function. We are already given the domain of our original function. Therefore, we will we'll get the range that is a uh, y greater than or equal to zero. We got from here. That's the range. Domain of our original function is the range of our inverse function. So how you get the domain for this uh, inverse function? Inverse function is a square root of function. Domain part is a radicans greater than or equal to zero. Therefore, we solve this inequality. We multiply by three both sides. Since we multiply by positive symbol state, you got negative x plus five greater than or equal to zero. Then we subtract 5 both sides and divide by negative 1. 
Remember that、uh, when you multiply, divide by negative number, you have to switch the symbol. So we use mommy, daddy, nanny to remember this、uh, rule. Since we divide by negative number, we got to switch the symbol. X less than equal to five. Therefore, domain will be X less than equal to five for this inverse function. Now let's go to D. F X equals two X minus six over one minus X. Exchange X Y. So we got the x equals two y minus six, y minus y. Second step is a solve for y. Since this is a fraction, we get rid of the fraction by doing cross multiply. X times one that's x. X times negative y that's minus x y equals. One times two y that's two y. One times negative six is minus six. Since we solve for y, this is a linear pattern equation. Move all y on one side. So move over here. X go to the other side. Remember, cross the equal sign. You need to change the sign. So we got the negative x y minus two y equals negative. X minus six. When you go to this far, this is a very popular equation for SAT. For SAT question like this, solve for a. Three a minus five equals four a b plus c. This is a linear pattern equation, so we'll move all a on one side. Then we got three a minus four a b equals five plus c. Next step, we take a out. We do common factor, so we get three minus four b equals five plus c. Then next step, divided by three minus four b both sides. Then we got a equals five plus c, three minus four b. Remember, this is a very critical common factor. This a. Now let's go back to the inverse function part. For you get negative x y minus two y. We know you factor y for this part. You get the negative x minus two equals negative x minus six. Then you divide it by negative x minus two both sides. We got the y equals. For fraction, the first term of the denominator normally is a positive, so we switch sign for everything. Then we got x plus six over x plus two. Then last step, change y into inverse function symbol. We got x plus six, x plus two. Now we need to figure out domain and a range of、uh, the inverse function. For this、uh, inverse function, this is a rational function, so we can figure out domain. That's the denominator not equal to zero, so we got the x not equal to negative two. That's the domain for inverse function. But how you get the range? For rational function, there's no clue for the range, so we go back to the original function. What's the domain for original function? We set up y minus x not equal to zero. Then we got the x not equal to one. 
the domain of original function will be the range of、uh, inverse function. That's why we change y not equal to one. Just switch this x into y. We got the range of、uh, inverse function. Now let's go to e. F of x equals square root of four x plus one minus five. Still, we got to use the step that's escape button. F of、uh, x that's y. So first step is a、uh, switch x y. We got the x equals square root four y plus one minus a、uh, five. Then we solve for y. We know this is a square root of、uh, equation. Isolating, so we add a five both sides. We got the x plus five equals the square root of four y plus one. Then we do square both sides. You will get the x plus five square equals four y plus one. Then we solve for this y. This is a linear pattern. Isolating this y on one side, so we do x plus five square minus one equals four y. Then you need to divide it by four both sides. You will get the y equals x plus five square minus one over four. The last step. Change y into inverse symbol equals x plus five square minus one over four. Then we need to figure out the domain and the range of inverse function. For square root function, inverse function is a quadratic function. For quadratic function, it's hard to figure out the domain range. So go back to square root function. For square root function. How to figure out the domain? We set up radicand is a greater than equal to zero. So four x plus one greater than equal to zero. We solve for that is x greater than equal to negative one over four. Then we got the range that is a y greater than equal to negative one over four. Then how to get the range for this、uh, square root of function? Remember, whenever you have square root, that means、uh, y greater than equal to zero. Nothing to multiply. Therefore, just minus five. We got the y greater than equal to negative five. That's the range of、uh, original function. In other words, it will be the Domain of a inverse function that is x greater than equal to negative five. So when you have a square root of function, it's easy for us to figure out a domain and a range. Then switch domain and a range to get a domain and a range of a inverse function. Now let's go to J. This is the exponential function. We want to figure out the inverse function. Still, we got to use the escape button. Switch x y. So x equals three e negative four y minus one. Second step: solve for y. You solve for. Exponential equation now. Isolate、uh, that exponential equation on one side. Therefore, I add one both sides. Equals three times、uh, e negative four y. Then you got to divide it by three both sides. And、uh, you will get the e negative four y. Equals x plus one over three. 
Then we do natural log both sides. For natural log of e, we cancel. Then we got the negative four y equals natural log x plus one over three. Then we divide by negative four. We got the y equals negative one over four natural log of four. X plus one over three. Then last step, you change y into inverse function. That is negative one over four natural log of x plus one over three. We need to figure out the domain and the range of inverse function. For this inverse function, we can figure out the domain because this is a logarithm function. Argument x plus one over three has to be greater than zero. We solve this uh, inequality multiplied by three both sides. You got the x plus one greater than zero. So subtract one both sides. We got x greater than negative one. That's the domain for this、uh, inverse function. Range it will be all real numbers.